Hey guys, it's Kaylee at KayleeWright.com. So today I'm gonna do my first hair tutorial and I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited because so many of you guys have asked me, how do I curl my hair? What products do I use? What wand do I use? On and on and on. So I decided to finally take the plunge and do one. So first off, the wand that I use. That's the famous question I get asked. Um, I use the Numi. This one actually came in the five in one set, but they do sell them separately. And this is the 32 millimeter. And this is what I use to get my everyday curl. Um, it'll last me about three or four days. And by the end, it's completely wavy. Um, the 25 millimeter, I also have that one. And I use that one if like we're gonna go on vacation and it will curl a lot tighter and it will last me a whole week. And I don't wash my hair very much, <laughs> like once a week. So I know that's totally gross to some, but I will tell you my tricks. And then I use a flat iron to you know, flatten out the top because I have a lot of natural curl. Um, and I just use the Chi, C-H-I, Global Beauty Network is what it says. But um, these run about $100. I know they go on sale, but I really think any flat iron is totally fine. I don't think you have to have that one. So the products I use, I will just kind of go through those and um, let you know what I use. So I put on everything mainly wet. The huge thing is to protect your hair, protect your hair, protect your hair. I have really dry, coarse, natural curly hair. It's blonde, so I'm extra damaged already. So I start off with the Chi, and I will link all these um, below. This is the Keratin Silk Fusion. It's like oil drops. I'll show you kind of the consistency. It's like um, oil, and I just put on when it's wet, and I put it all on my sides, all through my ends. Saturate your ends, because those are always what is the most damaged. Um, never put it on your top, because that will make your hair completely greasy. Then what I do next, that's the baby crying, so if you hear him, sorry. Um, this is the Split End Mender, and it is by Joyco K-Pack, and I use about a quarter size amount, and I put it just on my ends again, just saturate the ends. Um, don't worry, Joe's got him. Then I use the K-Pack. K-Pack is huge. It's got um, tons of moisturizers in it, so you'll see me use this a lot. Um, this is by Joyco again, liquid constructor. I spray it all over my hair. So then I just blow dry, and it's huge. If you can air dry your hair, that is the best, less damage. So um, when this tutorial starts, you'll see that half of my hair is a big fro, and I dried half of it and let the other half air dry through the night. So that's how I start. But then another thing that you guys, I have to tell you guys about is Suave Shampoo. This is what saves my life. It's like the cheapest stuff ever. You can get it at Walmart, at Target. I think the packaging is a little bit different. I think they've changed it recently. But it's like $2 for a bottle. Best stuff ever. And I just spray it in my roots probably on the fourth or fifth day and it will just suck up all your grease and make your hair look new and fresh. I've tried a ton of dry shampoos out there, professionals, uh, all the professional kinds, and this is by far the best. Um, but another tip, don't ever, ever, ever wash your hair with suave shampoo unless you hate your color and you want it to rip out. So those are kind of the products I use. Um, in case you're wondering, I just use like a big paddle brush. This is by Rusk. I think you can just get these. I get everything at the beauty supply, but you can get this just at Target. It doesn't have to be Rusk. And I just paddle brush the crap out of my hair just to get as much airflow in there as possible. I know some people round brush their hair. It's pointless to me because I go through and I straighten, straighten it and curl it. So to me, it's just way more damage. But anyways, I hope you guys like the tutorial. So here we go. Okay, so first off, I'm going to section out this part. And I just twist it up with a clip. And I take, this is the Iron Guard Chi. It's a thermal spray protector and I spray it on all of my hair before I put any heat on it. It also helps hold the curl or any form of what you're going for. So if you're straightening your hair, it'll help keep it straight. If you're curling your hair, it will help hold the curl a lot better. I'm taking about one to two inch sections of thickness, and then I take about another inch per strand, if that makes sense. 
So you'll see right here, I'll spray it all again. Now I'm gonna spray this on when it's dry. I'm not soaking my hair, just a light spritz like you would hairspray. So then this section's a little bit bigger just because I don't have a lot of hair on the side. And then I'm curling it away from my face. And I don't curl the, um, the bottom piece in the end because I want it to stay straight. I don't really want it super curly at that bottom. But I also have a lot of natural curl, so my hair will hold the curl really well. So if you want that bottom end of your hair curled, go ahead and wrap it around the iron. But mine automatically just kind of takes that heat in already. So there's a glove that comes with this. I'm also using the Numi size 32 millimeter iron. That's my size that I use on my everyday hair, everyday curls, and it will hold really well for a couple of days. And then by the fourth or fifth day, it's a really, really loose wave. But there's a glove that comes with this so you don't burn yourself. But I don't like to use the glove because I like to feel how hot my hair gets. Because once it's too hot, you can burn your hair. So I just kind of tap with my finger until it's pretty warm and then I let go. Okay, so here I'm using the flat iron because I have a big fro and I have a lot of natural curl. So I know that the iron, the wand, is not going to pull out any of that curl up there. So I just straighten the top by my roots and right by my sides because that's what bugs me the most. And then I'll go ahead and curl the rest of my hair. And P.S. Don't mind my regrowth because I colored my own hair last time and I can only reach the very top part and the sides. So my husband mentioned I had a lot of regrowth, so just ignore that. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab this one little strand of extensions. Since having Houston and um, my miscarriages last year, I lost a ton of hair and I'm continuing to lose it. So I just twirl that little um, piece of hair and then stick it in. You'll see me grab a piece and twist it and stick it in. That way the extension will clamp on better and won't slide down, but I'm not ratting or teasing my hair to stick that in. So I already have one on the other side but I just put them in on my two sides. It doesn't add any length. It just adds a little bit of thickness because I feel like I'm balding on my sides. This is my favorite go-to stuff. I cannot live without it. It's the Chi, C-H-I, it's the Keratin Silk Fusion. It's just like oil, serum drops. It's really healthy for your hair. So you'll probably just need a dime size to a nickel size amount and never put it on top by your roots. Just put it around your sides, on your bangs, and get all of it off on your ends. And then I tease just a little bit with a, um, with a pick, just to give me a little bit of volume up at the top since I have so much volume and body at the bottom. That way I just feel like I don't look like a lampshade. So I just tease a little bit. I'm not like ripping my hair out or anything. I don't want a big, huge nest up there. And it all looks smooth. Just fixing that little piece. I swear my bangs always drive me nuts. But you can also curl with a flat iron as you see me just twirling that away from my face. All those curls around your face you want away from your face. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Comment, let me know what you think, if it was too fast, too slow, if you guys have any more questions. 
Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope to do a few more in the future. And I will link all the products um, on my website so you guys can have direct links to everything. So I hope you like it. Check out um, more. I'll have more step-by-step um, -step details with a few photos on KayleeWright.com. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks, guys.